Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is Jeff with uh, Samsell Farms, beekeepingfornewbies.com. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, we got lots of content on the podcast as, uh, as often as we can. But I wanted to take a few minutes and go over some of our configurations for the different types of hives that we use. So no particular order here, it's just as I've randomly set them up. Uh, I do apologize, a lot of my gear here needs to be painted and a couple of nails tapped back in, but this will at least give you a rough idea of what things look like kind of firsthand. So this first uh, first one here is just a regular uh, 10 frame, full you know full size hive body. And uh, you see it's on a stand. That's not necessarily mandatory, but you do want to get it up off the ground a little bit. And then on the inside here, inner cover, and then inside of that are 10 frames. Nothing special or unique there, pretty typical. Now moving over here to the left. This is just a standard five frame nuke where I took a piece of plywood and uh, I cut some three quarter inch strips of uh, two by four and, and basically made those edges that you see right over there on the left and right there on the right. That way it has a way to elevate the nuke, get it up off of the board and give space for the bees to move around. Now the next one we have over here is pretty much the same thing. I put a couple bricks on top just to show you how I do that. I don't have my inner covers on these, they're just not here but that's kind of what it looks like. These are just two regular five frame nukes. If I was gonna put them on this particular platform, which is fine, I would try to level it a little bit, which is why I have all these random blocks over here. So if you just walk around the property, you're gonna see like about 300 of these things, but you know, varying sizes and shapes, two by fours, four by four, you know, one by equipment, um, just, you know, whatever you have laying around to kind of get things level. But notice that right here, I have the entrance of this one is on this side but you see the back over here. So I would have, you know, this hive, this colony would be entering and exiting from over here, and this one will be entering and exiting from over here. So again, standard five frame nukes. Now we're gonna move over to one of my preferred configurations. This is two of them side by side. These are the four by four. So you got the double nukes. So if you look at the way that this is set up, you have a standard 10 frame deep, and you'll notice here you have an entrance on one side, right here and then it's blocked on this side we have two separate inner covers so you can take them off individually in fact i'm actually going to jump over here for one second and show you a quick thing okay i'll pull this from here so what i do is i take this this is number eight hardware cloth basically cut this in half so that you can cover these two holes because once you open these up let's say for example you have the colony here on the left and you've got this screen here, okay? That prevents the bees from coming up and moving over. You take the one on the right off, you do your inspections, you look at everything, and the bees that are over here are not coming over to here because you're divided by this divider here in the middle, right here. So as you can see, completely divided and it's separated and you go all the way to the bottom, and there's your dividing, dividing uh, board across the bottom as well to keep them completely separated. So I'm gonna move on to the larger one. I'm gonna show you a couple other things that are important here. All right. Now, this is the same setup on the bottom, but we've now stacked two nukes on top. So these are four frame nukes. All right. So this is super easy to do inspections on, right? You can walk up and you can kind of tilt one side up, look at the bottom. You can look down there and see if you see brood, queen cells, things like that. And it's easy to manage. You know, I'm, this is one-handed. Now, obviously, it's not loaded with bees and brood and everything, but it's just so much easier to move these around than uh, than what it would be if you're trying to move 10 frames that are loaded with honey or, or uh, brood and thousands of bees. But you'll see the same kind of thing here, right? Divided board, four frames on each side, and uh, and that's kind of the way that layout looks. Now, one suggestion I will make is when you put your frames in, one thing I usually do is I will take the first one, and I, I definitely don't want it to be flush up against the edge here. I'll move it out just a little bit, like about like that. That way, as I go and I'm doing my inspections later, the first frame, I can just kind of pop down this way. And then once that first frame comes out, it's easier to move everything else down from there. All right, the next setup I'm gonna go to here 
This is something I used for one year, one season, and this is a five frame medium. So it's the same kind of thing, right? I took a piece of plywood, I used three quarter inch strips of cut uh, two by four to make the supporting uh, pieces of the bottom. So as you'll see, you know, right in here, that's all three quarter inch ply, uh, two by four that's been cut. The reason that I don't use this still is because I just, I like having all of my medium frames dedicated for honey. I don't like the idea of mixing my my brood chambers, and uh, brood, you know, brood wax, brood foundation, and mixing that with honey. I wanna keep those things separate in case there's any kind of disease or issue, you know, inside of that brood. Uh, you, you just don't wanna mix the two. So it's kind of a cool setup, I like it. Um, I think it's really good if you were doing maybe some, some queen rearing or some queen mating. You know, they'd be great little mating nukes. Uh, but it's just not the best for me. Now, these next two over here, these are, this idea was actually taken from uh, David at Barnyard Bees, and uh, these are just two frame nukes. Now, I don't have the bottoms for them. I apologize, they're just not here, but it looks just like any of the other bottoms, right? There's an opening for the bees to come and go, and uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. But what's great about these is you can take a colony that's this really exploding, has a large population, and you can go ahead and take a you know, full frame of nurse bees, capped brood, and maybe some eggs that they can make into a queen cell. You drop one of those in and maybe add a frame of some nectar or even foundation, and they'll draw it up. If you're in a good uh, nectar flow, they'll draw it up pretty quickly and start storing nectar and pollen there. And it's a great way to kind of grow your apiary. What I would caution is these are not really ideal if you're in a cooler climate where it still gets really cold at night and uh you know in early in the season like you know march april and even may sometimes there are some places that still get really cold so you just have to make sure that you're not uh putting a bunch of brood in there without enough nurse bees to keep the brood warm on the cooler nights but these are definitely once you get to a point where your night temperatures aren't getting uh, too cool anymore these are a great solution i absolutely love them so we take the brick off here now this is an inner cover. This is a cloth inner cover. I started using these based on the uh, guys at the University of Guelph. And uh, basically you just peel it right off. And I'll lay it down to the side while I'm doing my inspections. And then you take your frames out and do what you gotta do. And then put everything back together. So this is just a quick high level uh, overview of some of the things that, that I use here at the apiary. You'll notice, you know, again, these stands, these are just things that we're laying around, right? So you don't have to go buy, you know, something that's like this right here that's all plastic and fancy. You don't have to do that. Just take whatever you have laying around, whether it's bricks or cinder blocks or, I mean, you can take these right here, this pile of junk that I have, right? You can use that. And the other thing I use these for too, if you look on the back, I would not place this colony this way, right? I just, I just wouldn't do it this way. But... Notice how I threw that piece of, uh, you know, two by four up underneath of there to kind of raise the back end up a little bit, right? So there, you know, use what you have. No need to go spending a ton of money on, uh, you know, on buying thousands of dollars worth of gear. You know, the bees are pretty adaptable. They do a really good job, a job of making things work with whatever they have. So that's all I got for today, folks. Have a great day. Uh, feel free to ask questions, like, subscribe. And uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions, jeff at beekeepingfornewbies.com. Take care.